All right, so the last thing. I said yesterday I wanted to show you guys if you wanted to change your ringtone with uh, Zedge or something like that. Or notification turn. Or because some people may like a certain notification sound. I say notification turn, but notification sound. I think this way will cover if one, either you decide to get it from Zedge or if you have notification that you had already saved. So this will cover both. So let me download this real quick. I captured this a couple years ago. We were firing up an APU. So I captured the sound and I may want to use that. So you can actually you you know change your ringtone to have that. So I'm going to show you how to change your ringtone to incorporate a sound that you may have captured or that you may want to use. So let's go into sound and vibration. And let's go to thing, uh, phone ringtones. Now, you can use your sounds. So I'm going to go my sounds. And let's see. It should I want to add a sound. And I actually just recently downloaded it. Or at least I thought I did. So what I'm going to have to do is change the format of that. So I'm going to use an app to actually change that format. So let me see if I can find one. Let's go MP3 converter. So converter, and just choose any one. I, I, no matter which one, just choose one. Um, for now, I'm going to download that one. I've never used that one before, so I'm going to try it real quick. I guess I'm not recommending that or not recommend it. But most of the time, I'm just look, um, check out the reviews, and if it looks like it's, it's have good reviews, just download it. So, all right, we're going to convert the file. So the, the file that I've uh, downloaded. Let's go ahead and allow, and I downloaded this one. What I want to do is I want to convert this to an MP3 format. MP3, save. Save. You got to deal with the ads. Close that. Done. So now we converted it. So now we should be able to go into settings now. I'm going to close this, close this, close this. Settings, let's go back to sound, let's go phone ringtone, let's go to my sound, let's go add, and now we should be able to add that sound. So now let's click on it, save. So now if you see here, if my phone rings, the new ringtone is that one file that I've created. Now. Let's just say you want to do a notification. All right, I was able to find it. <laughs> Someone had it on an uh, Android site. So I found it off Android forms. So kind of be careful with that. <laughs> uh, be careful what sites you go to. Um, but all right, let's go ahead and go back to settings. Let's change that notification sound. Let's go to sound. Let's go to... Notification. Let's go my sounds. It should be there. If not, let's add it. Let's add it. I thought it downloaded. Let's see. Let's see who downloads. There it is. There's my droid sound. So let's click on that. Add it. So now, save. So now you will see every time a text or something come through. If I didn't have do not disturb mode on. It will be that joy sound. So that would be how you would go about changing that. Uh, so hopefully that helps. I think I covered everything else I wanted to bring up. You know, on another video or from the previous video that I made, that I feel like I missed that may be helpful to adding to your experience. So anyway, hopefully this helped you guys out. If there's anything else you think I should add for these tutorials. Post a comment below, and I'll try to add those. But other than that, this is the next up YouTube. Thank you again for tuning in. I'm out.